Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Black Randor, and today we're going to be taking a look at MU Online. And this game is a very old game, and it's in Season 8 right now. I don't actually know what that means, but I played MU way back in, like, beta, beta phase. Which was a long time ago. Uh, before they even had these servers. It was like, I forget what the old servers were called, but then they migrated them over to these names. Helheim, Midgard, and Titan. I don't even know what Titan is, I just remember these two as well. So, they got a bunch of servers, uh, we're gonna take a look. I played this game before World of Warcraft. This is the first MMORPG I ever played, so I have super nostalgia with it. And let's take a look. So first off, uh, there's a very full server. That's usually where all the trading takes place. Then there's this one, I guess that's some trading, and then there's these, which are all PvP. There's also gold servers for people who just want to level uh, again, gold PvP. So these are like the pay-to-play servers, and you get bonus experience and stuff on them. So it's the, uh, they have pay-to pay-to-play, but it's like you just gain bonus experience and item drops and stuff. So you don't actually miss out on too much if you're not paying to play. So uh, that's cool. And to show you, I will go to this one. So here's the character selection screen. These are all the characters. I have, I think I used to have more. I did used to have more. I used to have another account, but this is the account I most recently used. It has a Soul Master, which is also a Dark Wizard, a Dark Knight, a Magic Gladiator, and a Dark Lord. So if you hit Create, you have options of what to make. You can make a Dark Wizard, which is like a mage, a Dark Knight, which is like a warrior, <laughs> an Elf, which is like a hunter, there's a summoner. I don't know why I can't click on it. There's a rage fighter, which I think you unlock somehow. I don't know. Uh, these are things that have been added uh, after I played. There's magic gladiator, which you unlock after you get a character to level 220. I think it's once you hit 220. And then there's dark lord, which is after you get a character to 250. And so I have my magic gladiator 250. So I unlock both these guys. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get out of that. Uh, I'll show you my high-level guy first, Magic Gladiator. So, normally you can't make him right away, but, uh, since I have a level 220 guy, I can. It makes sense. Alright, so, first off, let's, I'm gonna show you, this is the elf world, I'll come back here. Lorencia is where you normally start. You normally start in Lorencia, so I have super nostalgia here, there's like a dragon statue in the middle. Uh, there's some weird stuff going on. <laughs> Here's the vault. This is where most newbie players start, if you pick a Dark Knight or a Dark Wizard. Uh, as you can see, I have 6.7 million Zen in the bank. Zen is the money. I have 504 million in my inventory. So, I mean, not bad. I also have jewels. Jewels are like the main items in this game for currency, because you can trade jewels. You got Bless, uh, which is like one of those stronger jewels you have souls and the jewels act as a buff so items have levels so you can have like thunderhawk gloves plus seven and you can get items up in levels by putting bless on them so if i was like i want to put a bless on this it would work if it was not level seven already <laughs> uh but then you get jewels of soul and what jewels of soul do is you can put them on these and make them plus seven plus eight plus nine and I forget how high they go in item level, but that's how it works. And Chaos are used for, like, making wings, which I have wings, and you can't use those until level 245. Uh, and there's just, there's a bunch of stuff. I could go super in detail about it, but I'm not going to. Here's a bunch of my inventory. I think a lot of you have played this game, but uh, if you haven't, I'm just sharing with you a piece of my nostalgic past. This is the game that really got me into MMORPGs, like, crazy into it. Like, this is all I did in 8th grade. All I did was this game. Alright, so, let's see, Flame Strike, and then we'll put, oh no, Power Slash and Fire Slash. Sure. Let's go out here. So this is the newbie area. So you can see, <laughs> I can fly around and kill these random little crappy mobs, zen drops, and space bar to pick it up. It's like a Diablo. It has even the same structure as Diablo, but it's a lot more Korean. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's based off the Diablo of the time. 
It's the same style of game as Diablo. Like, it has a lot of uh, grinding, getting items. That's really what it's all about. But it also has PvP. It also has uh, just a lot of... It has a lot of events happening. Like, here's an event happening with Easter where you find rabbits and it gets random item drop things. It's pretty cool. So, uh, right now, I'm going to leave the newbie area because it's just a lot of newbie area stuff. Let's go to uh, Noria. This is the elf newbie area. I really love these zones. I love all the, the sounds that also accompany these zones. So here's the elf area. Da -da -da. I'll show you how trading and buying and all that works. Because it was really fun doing a lot of the buying and trading. It's like a store system, which I think other games have it. But I really like the buy store system in this game. So I'm just owning stuff. There's a lot of mobs. I wish I could go through every zone and look at every mob so my nostalgia feels would be super fulfilled. Also, you can run into gold mobs, and what gold mobs do is they drop uh, boxes or jewels, and you can sell those, or you can just drop them. So I think, see that's a sealed golden box, that's what golden mobs drop. I have one that I haven't opened, so I'm going to open it at the end of this video, and we'll see what I get. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, I remember. Okay, story time. So down here is this rock. There should be a little tree area. A little tree area down here. Oh my god, these sounds. This is like, the nostalgia is flooding back so hard. Leave me your MU experiences if you also played this game back in the day. Because, I mean, WoW wasn't even out yet, so a lot of MMORPGs weren't, uh... What's the word? I guess they didn't have to compete a lot, so a lot of these games were bigger because there was no main MMORPG, at least from my perspective. And this was free. Here's where I was talking about. It's like a little tree hut thing. And this is where we used to drop our golden boxes, so I'm going to drop my golden box in there when I do open it at the end of this video. So I'm going to kill these things because they're stupid. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Noria El Elveland? Like, I don't even know what Elva Land is. That's some new thing. I'm not I'm not into that. I'm not into the new things. Although, granted, let's go up here. I'll speed this up. I'm gonna speed this up for all you all you cool cats out there. Here's what I was looking for. Okay, speed up stopped. There's these golems. These were like the big mobs of the elf area. And I remember grinding these uh, with Dan and Steve and some of my other friends. So we got super into this game all together. It wasn't just me. And that's what made it more fun was playing with all those people. I also met a lot of people uh, through this game. Oh, it's just... It's crazy how you come back to these games after years and years and years like, whoa. So if you're... If you're watching this right now and you're in 8th grade or like early high school and stuff, just realize that like years from now, years from now, you're going to come back to the games you're playing right now and be like, Ermagerd, I remember back in the day when I used to play these games. Like, you know how older people like reminisce about the the good old days and past times? Hold on, let's go to uh, Davios. That's the other zone after this. It's a snow zone. So, uh, yeah, you know how older people are like, oh, I remember when we had good music and good TV shows and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't think it's like that, but I think they just have good memories of those past experiences. And so, for us, it's weird because a lot of people are like, remember back in high school when we played baseball? Or remember back in eighth grade when we used to go to the bowling alley? For me, it's video games. Well, what is this? A sealed silver box? Whoa! I'm going to open it. Hold on. Oh, this elf chick's with her yeti killing stuff, or I don't know what that is. I forget. <laughs> Elves get pets. So, yeah, remember back in the day when that used to happen? I'm going to drop it. Wait. With combining a goblin with a silver key creates a silver box. Wait, can I drop it? Oh, wait. Combining a goblin with a gold... I don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh, it's sealed. It's sealed. Oh, well, damn. Maybe I can unlock it. I'll try to figure it out. But, uh, I've been talking about this for, like, eight minutes now. <laughs> it's like, video games are our 
nostalgia. So I have memories of just playing video games, you know? I didn't go out and, uh, you know, do the Dougie with all the hip kids. I played video games. So this is Davios. This is a really cool zone. Because it's literally cool because it's all, it's all a snow stuff. Ha 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 ha. So I'm just going stuff here. Here's some yetis. There used to be a lot of good spots to farm things at. These yetis are at kind of low health, so there's probably somebody nearby. Uh, or not. I'll try. Let's try this ability. Oh, this is a good ability. Cause you can just spam it, in AOE. Oh yeah. All right. Symbol of Kundan plus one. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna switch characters. Cause. Uh, I want to show you some of the other characters. So we're going to go on the Dark Wizard. Wandering Merchant Zyro. So let's go on the Dark Wizard. There we go. Well, I want to see what Wandering Merchant Zyro does. My brain is just all over the place right now because there's so many things happening and so many memories. I don't remember this. This is new. May I help you? My collection is much more diverse than the ordinary merchants. That's the secret of my success. Haha. -ha. What's your request? There's no available quest. Come back later. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> uh, oh, the blacksmith. Oh my god, just listen to that. That noise. That blacksmith noise was my AFK noise. This was my Orgrimmar back then. And hearing that blacksmith, I would like go to bed and I would leave my store open. So... I'd be standing here with my store open so people could buy my stuff, and that's this is what I'd hear. So I'd always stand like by the blacksmith. Oh my god. The feels. Alright, enough feels. Let's go off, uh... Let's go to the dungeon. So this is the dungeon. Used to farm a lot here. Uh, let me show you my favorite farm spot. We're not going to be able to open that golden box now, so I just promised you, promise you a really exciting thing for nothing because it's locked. Unless I can find a way to unlock it, but it doesn't seem like that'll happen. So I have teleport on my wizard. I can port over walls. Uh, this is what I used to do. So you go over here. We go over here. We've got the ghost spot. Port over here. Switch to evil spirit. And right in this area is where we used to farm ghosts. We just stay in here, cast this spell for hours. For hours, just sit here. And just spam that. And people would come by and be like, Hey, get out of my spot or I'll kill you. And you'd be like, No, go away, you nerd. And then they'd try to fight. It's intense. Unless it was a non PvP server, then people would just try to out farm you. And you'd be like, Wow, go away, you asshole. I was here first. Either way, it was fun. So I'm going to kill one more ghost. I'll use a different spell. We got, uh, here's Hellfire. And then maybe Inferno. And I'll throw down some, uh, Aqua Beam at five. So here's Hellfire. This used to be the most powerful spell a wizard could do in the game. Until new stuff got added. Here's Inferno, which is the current most powerful wizard spell, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And then, uh, there's probably more powerful stuff now, because, yeah. There we go. Because there's a lot of new zones I don't even know about, like... Uh, all these things, all these things, I have no idea what they are. They're all new. Aqua Beam! Aqua Beam! Alright, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go somewhere else now. Here's, uh... There's Dungeon 2, Dungeon 3, different levels of the dungeon. Here's Atlans. This is the underwater zone. So this is really cool. Underwater zone. I like this zone a lot. Unlike Vajjir, this place is actually cool. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's underwater zone. Uh, let's see. You can also go to Lost Tower. This is a big ass tower that has a bunch of mobs in it. I don't. Know, I don't actually know the story behind it or anything, but uh, LT seven. This is usually the place people would farm a lot of a lot of items and jewels and stuff. You'd go down here. There's a few farm spots set up, but 
this was one of the main ones right here, which is why there's stuff happening right here. So I'm going to leave them to their farming. And I'm just going to kill one of these. I'm just going to kill one of these. He's going to take a little bit to kill. But uh, we'll get him down. Yeah, I'm going to use all my spells. Use all my spells. Oh god, what is happening? And he dropped nothing. Okay, so let's go to uh, Tarkin. Here's Tarkin. This was probably the highest level zone. Or was it uh, Icarus? Yeah, Icarus was the highest level zone, but Tarkin was second to that. Which is like this cool desert type area. And there's these weird mutant things. Oh my god. So if you walk out here, there's these weird ass mutant things. Where are they? I'm probably not going to be able to kill them because they're very strong. Yaha! Watch my health. Oh god. Yeah, they're not taking a lot of damage. Hold on, let's switch to Inferno here. Oh, wait. Am I not getting hit or are they just like, are they just weak? Oh, I'm killing them. Oh, I'm killing them. Oh my god. Oh god, I have no health potions. Okay, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. I can't kill them. I don't have any health potions and they hit for 50. Uh, alright. So, <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Lorencia now. So we can take a look at the actual items. So here's all my items. On this guy, I got Dark Soul Pants, Grand Soul Armor. Uh, I got a shield, got wings. You know, basic stuff. Uh, we got 3 million Zen. This guy is, this guy used to be my main. As you can see, it's a lot like Diablo with the stat points. I don't actually know what a lot of the other buttons are. Here's a bunch of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to select a different server so we can see the biting, the, the biting, the items, the items in the game and everything like that. So we go here, we go to the, there we go. So I could make a new character, but if you want to play the game, you can make a new character and find out all that stuff on your own. I'm going to log on my Magic Gladiator because he's got all my stuff. And here's all the shops and everything. So, as you can see, you can set up your little store. So if I wanted to set up a store, I, I think I go to my inventory? Personal store. And here's my store right now. These are the last things I tried to sell. I got Legendary Armor plus 7 plus 12. I got some Dark Steel Armor. Dark Phoenix boots with luck on them. I got an imp. Signs of Lord. Lord Scepter. Uh, a lot of times you can use this as like just a ex extra bonus inventory space. So that's kind of cool. But say I wanted to buy something. I click buy. Go over here. He's got SW and DW. Excellent. Uh, so here's some Dark Wizard excellent stuff. He's got excellent Sphinx gloves. Excellent Sphinx boots, and the selling price is one jewel of soul. I don't have any of those. Or I could buy this ring that has Halloween festivities for five million zen. No thanks. But this is probably one of the most fun parts of the game, was the store type area. So, I mean, I go over here, this guy's got good prices. Uh, Scroll of Inferno, Wizardry Enhance. Ooh, I I've never even heard of that thing, but I need a lot more energy to use it. Maybe my wizard could use it. Inferno, Ice Storm. Scroll of Decay, uh, Jewel of Bless, I got Jewels of Bless, we got Excellent Glorious Gloves, I don't even, oh that's by Dark Lords, that's got 12 defense, defense success rate, got Ice Storm, we got Piercing Blade Gloves, I don't even know what I have to, oh that's Rage Fighter Boots, alright, uh, here I'll try going to, we'll go to, uh, Davios, cause usually they got, people all over on this server selling stuff so you see go over here there's a whole bunch of stores buy or MMO I don't know what that means oh wow these guys got a lot of excellent items what is this a jewel a seed of wind higher refining I don't even know I'm just gonna keep walking sell items and good price store good a lot of <laughs> a lot of foreign people also play this game well, I mean, it may be people native of your country. Sometimes I forget I'm talking to people in different countries. Uh, you got life orbs or look at all the things. Okay. So, uh, let's go to Noria. It's the elf place. 
And there's a lot of people here as well. So let's check out one of these stores. Got excellent armor. Excellent armor just has bonus stats on it. If you couldn't tell by now. Here's some wings of life. Uh, you got Argo spirit pants. Like, I don't even know. I used to play back in the day when, like, there was hardly any, hardly any, like, things. And then I came back and played for a while and then got used to more of the items. And now there's just so many things. So many things. I'm kind of just rambling right now, but, uh, I hope you enjoyed my look into the past. Maybe you haven't played MU in a long time and you just saw this and you're like, oh my god, I want to go log in again. Uh, I know I had fun just living, reliving some nostalgia. So thanks for watching. And yeah, if you want to check out the game, I'll put a link below. Okay, okay. See you.